Hey, Bob, can you lend me a spoon? Sure. Here you go. <gasps> Hi, my name is Bart. I'm Dani Rose, and I'm going to be cooking Bart's recipe, tuna mas huni from the Maldives. But I'm going to make my own Nordic fist of it. Today I'm going to cook a dish of dagni, which is the Icelandic whitefish brandade. And they also call it plug, right dagni? It's actually called plogfiskur in Icelandic, and it used to be a poor people's dish. Please allow me, I give it a twist. I twist it with a bit of lemongrass, and cilantro, coriander. You can find both our original recipes in the MSC's Blue Cookbook and many more delicious sustainable fish recipes. We want you to tell us which of our local twists you like the most. Leave your comment down below. And by the way, Dagny, the country where you're coming from is so beautiful. Guys, Iceland is amazing to visit all these beautiful, amazing, sustainable fishing communities, giving the right example to the world. Like, for example, in Patricksfjörde. Dagny, do I pronounce it well? Very close. It's actually Patricksfjörde. When I saw Bart's recipe for the first time, I was really surprised. Tuna and coconut, never seen it. So I tried it at home and oh my God, one explosion of taste. I just loved it. And so did my kids. This label means the product comes from fishery who doesn't harm fish stocks. I was so happy when I saw the recipe from Bart because it's so simple and quick. Lime, a lot of lime, chili. Put this to the lime, salt. I always use sea salt. Put the tuna in a bowl, one with oil and the other with water. Dry cocos and add a little bit of cocos cream or cocos milk. Two, three spoons, mix it very well. I'm actually so proud of Iceland. Almost all fisheries are MSC certified. I wonder what Bart is doing. So let's kick off, guys. Make sure your fish is sustainable. This is important. I cut the cod in small pieces. I'm using the whole fish fillet here, but this recipe is perfect to use, well, bits and pieces of cuts. So I've got 600 grams of cod, I've got 600 grams of boiled potatoes. So I finally chopped two onions. Medium to high heat, 50 grams of butter. Soften the onions. I simmer them for like three, maybe four minutes fish stock until the liquid is evaporated. Mm. Two, three tablespoons flour. Give this a stir. Milk. So my twist for today, I'm using lemongrass. Cut it lengthwise and I use the stock for stirring. Add this hero of today, Icelandic cod. Salt, white pepper. And, and last, last but, not, but least, not least, potatoes. Our chili and lime and salt. Mm. I'm gonna use pita bread like part, but I'm gonna make it more like a party food, smurrebröd. It's a typical open sandwich from the Nordics. So everything goes in layers on top, a lot of colors and a lot of flavors. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Sustainable fishing is really important because I like my grandchildren to eat good fish in the future. What about you? Well, fish is the only food we still massively capture out of wild. We should enjoy fish, but we need to listen to our seas until the limit of sustainability. Do you have any cooking tips for fish? I would more say like what fish to use for cooking. I'm a big fan of preserved fish like tinned fish, frozen fish, salted fish. All the fish is caught at the peak of the season in, in, in the freshest uh, period of the year, but to enjoy it optimally during the whole year, preserved fish is really fantastic. Well, but that's not cooking tips. Well, Dagny, the more simple the better with seafood. With me, seafood is always the hero. Maybe add a bit of flavor here and there, but it's the fish which makes the dish. Dagny, it looks amazing. Look at this. Wow, this looks very delicious. Now I'm gonna do my final touch. And another element that's very, very Nordic is Sour cream. Bart uses red onion raw. I pickle it overnight. I love your twist, Dachny. So actually you cure the onion before you use it in the recipe. We're getting close. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Coriander. Jalapenos.
Daphne, it's so good. Your Mashuni needed my Nordic twist. Leave a comment and tell us which one you prefer. You can find both our original recipes in the MSC Blue Cookbook, which is free online. Cheers, thank you for a great cookbook.